we have this culture of I want it and I want it now. So we visualize our dreams and the things that we want, but we don't always think about the sacrifice that it will take to achieve those dreams. In other words, we see the crown, but you don't always see the cross. That's what you're talking about in this video. Hello my wonderful viewer and welcome back to my channel. My name is Didio Witi and I pray that you are well. There's a story in the Bible that is very fascinating to me. Salome, the mother of James and John, and James and John are the disciples of Jesus. And so she comes to Jesus and she kneels down and she has a very peculiar request. She is asking Jesus to grant her sons the best positions in the kingdom of God. She wants one son to sit on the right hand of Jesus and the other one to sit on the left hand of Jesus. And Salome, just like many mothers, wants the best for her children. But she had no idea what she was asking for. And Jesus answers and says, you do not know what you're asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I'm about to drink? In other words, he was asking, have you counted the cost of your request? And we see the disciples quickly agreeing and saying, yes, we are well able. Obviously, at the time, they didn't fully understand what Jesus meant. And later on, we see James being the first disciple to die for Christ. He was beheaded for the sake of Christ. And we also see John suffering in various ways over a long period of time. What does this teach us? It teaches us that there is no success without sacrifice. That story reminds me of you and me. We are all aspiring for greatness. We are all reaching out for something. You know, we have these big dreams. You want a high-flying job. You want that first-class degree. You want to be a great player and be picked by a professional club. You want to start and run your own company. You want to be married. You want children. That is all good. But have you counted the cost? Do you know what it will take for you to take a hold of those things? And are you willing to pay the price? Unfortunately, we live in a microwave culture where I want it and I want it now. And so you want that first class degree, but you're not willing to study. So you go to the exam room with a Kenya also known as Max, or you get a job today and you want a promotion already. But you want to work hard for it. You don't want to wait your turn. So you sleep with the boss and you get the promotion. Or you just want to cut corners and steal from the company. You want a business, but you're bribing your way so you can advance quickly. You want a marriage, but without the commitment. You want to make the team without the hard work. We want greatness, but when it comes down to the real work, we pull back, we give up. Because we assumed it would be easy. So what should you do? Good question. That first class degree that you want, are you willing to study long hours while your friends are partying? That high-flying job that you want, are you willing to work hard, to be consistent? to be faithful, to not complain, to wait your turn? Do you want to be a great player, be on the national team, be picked by a professional club outside the country? Well, are you willing to put in the work? Hours and hours of practice, working on your skills while your teammates are gone and having a good time? That marriage you want? It's easy to say I do on the wedding day. But are you ready to grow up? and let go of your ego, to learn patience and self-control and taking responsibility and forgiveness. My friend, here is the real. Greatness will cost you. Following Jesus will cost you. Doing the right thing will cost you. Saying the truth when everybody else is playing politics to please their masters. Most times you'll go against the grain. Keep going. Follow the example of Jesus. When he walked the earth, 
he went to the cross first, and then his father glorified him. They are no shortcuts. Let me ask you, what are your dreams? And are you willing to pay the price to achieve those dreams? When you visualize the crown, I hope you see the cross too. And that's all we have for today. Stay focused, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.